In this segment, we will provide a brief overview of the transport panel. The transport panel is accessible in Cubase by selecting Transport, Transport Panel, or by pressing F2 on your keyboard. Now let's start by customizing the transport panel. Right-clicking, this gives you a pop-up menu where you can choose which sections you want to hide or show. Pick a preset, or create your own custom preset. You can move sections up and down, and you can show and hide sections. These two buttons let you store and delete your own custom presets. Click OK. Type in the name of your preset. Click OK. And OK again. Now we can choose our presets from the pop-up menu where they are now visible. The left meter in the performance section shows the CPU load. The right meter shows the hard drive load. If they reach the top, you will see a red flash. If so, it's time to reduce your load. One way to do that would be to disable unused tracks. The mute function doesn't prevent them from being written by Cubase. Audio plugins can use a lot of CPU power too. By applying the freeze function to the track, you will reduce your CPU usage. I'm going to explain the freeze function later on. The same parameters can be monitored by performance meters in the project window toolbar. Right click, select performance meter, then the VST performance panel under devices, VST performance. In the next section, you can set the record mode from the top pop-up menu. The cycle record mode from the bottom. And then activate auto quantize for your MIDI recording. The locators section lets you set, edit, and monitor the positions of your left and right locators. This is where you activate punch in and punch out, and turn on and off the pre-roll and post-roll functions. You can change the numeric value in this section in a few different ways. Type the numbers in, use the up and down arrows on your keyboard, use the mouse wheel, or left click when your cursor changes to a plus sign or a minus sign. Next, we've got Shuttle Jog and Nudge. The main transport contains two time controls. the Project Time Position Slider, Record, Play, Stop, Cycle, there's Play,
That takes you to the next marker, end of the project, fast forward, rewind, and of course go to the previous marker. Or back to the beginning of the project. Next we've got play order. Work with play order track. Here is where you enable or disable the metronome clicking. The tempo trap can be accessed under the project menu. That button enables and disables. This button here enables and disables the synchronization functions. This section works with markers in the markers track. Here you can see MIDI in and MIDI out activity and in the next one, audio in and audio out activity. In the last one, we have the master fader. And this wraps up our segment on the transport panel.